It's a feel good focus. This ain't a cracked out. Hey, focus. Garage gym home. With some dancing. Focus. Let's get cracked it. out. Hey, focus. Grandpa gym home. With some dancing. Focus. Let's get into Is it. Is it worth it? Focus. Set after set. Focus. Set. Man. Oh, I was excited. After set after set. Is it worth it? Focus. Set after set. Focus. Yeah. Man. I was excited. After set after set. Is it worth it? What up, what up? It's Garage Gym, homie. Homie? And today, I'm reviewing Myoblox Loco. Pre-workout, is it worth it? Before we get into this here, please click the subscribe button. I got content coming out all the dang time for you, son. So click subscribe and let's get into the man i'm dancing today homie you know why because god is amazing man god has blessed me with an opportunity to be a light to the world and uh try to be no not try homie trying's dying to be helpful to people to give back man to help people in my community turn the dang tv off live from the heart stay out of my head uh think about what i can do for others my whole life, man, was about me, 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 and more, more, more. So now, it's time to be about you, you, you. See, I get stuck in that, that selfish way a lot, man. I'm not above it, homie, but the, the point is we're, we, all, we all do that. We got to grow, man. So this is the year for growth, homie. I'm fired up for this new year, man. Feels like a fresh slate, clean slate, man. Let's keep our slate clean, homie. Let's get down to business. Quit monkeying around. Time to start pumping some freaking iron. They talking facts or feelings, these people at Loco. This was sent to me by my big homie at subcentral.com. You can use discount code JimHomie15. If you like what I have to say about it, I might tell you it's trash. And uh, hey, man, I'm going to just give it to you straight, homie. Everything in life has pros and cons, man. Here's the facts. They're claiming facts. They're doing... They're doing half facts, half feelings. Is that, that's more on the line of feelings. You can't really do half facts. That's like being kind of pregnant, homie. You're either pregnant or you're not. They're, they're talking some feelings here, man. The, the Don, they call it the Anderson Cooper blend, the Rachel Maddow blend, homie. So let's talk about it here. All right. So they're saying one scoop is 8.5 grams. But if you, see, I'm a well-studied, I've done some community college, man, about four semesters at four different community colleges. So I got a little bit under my belt. I did a little reading here. They're saying the serving is one scoop, but down below they're doing this one scoop, two scoop, redfish, bluefish, Dr. Seuss, mumbo jumbo, homie. So one scoop is 8.5 grams. So two scoops would be 17 grams. So let's be honest. The full serving is two scoops. You get 20 servings out of that in the container, which is which is whatever. It's on the low end, but that's cool, man, if it, if it delivers. Anyway, man, vitamin B6, B12. So let's talk about the 17 grams. Uh, citrulline malate, 6 grams. So we don't know the ratio. I assume it's 2 to 1. Um, that's for the pumps, the vascularity, the gorilla look in the garage. Gym beta alanine, 3.2 grams. That's clinically dosed for you homies. That's for the warm, fuzzy hug, the tingles, the revved up feeling, the endurance, the lactic acid buffering, a few extra reps for you sorry, soft son of a guns who need a few extra reps. Nitrosogene, which is this trademark arginine, 1,500 milligrams, more pumps for you chumps, l tyrosine, 1,500 milligrams, agmatine sulfate, one gram. Then they do this quick transition into the feelings that I spoke of earlier in the video. Caffeine anhydrous is the first ingredient, which they are disclosing, God bless their souls, that each scoop has 200 milligrams of caffeine, so the full serving is 400 milligrams of caffeine. That's a lot of caffeine, homies. That's the, the stimulant in here. Followed by the second ingredient, which is second largest dose, L-theanine. So at least they have under 400 milligrams of L-theanine if you're going by the books. Then you got this... Uh, a dotted uh, Vasaka extract. I don't know what the hell that is. 1% alkaloids, justice, something leaf. Then theobromine, which is a great ingredient. It's like a cousin to caffeine. Very feel-good energy kind of focus uh, mood ingredient. Uh, not illicit, but like a caffeine kind of. Rodelia rosa, which fights fatigue and has a whole bunch of other benefits. And Hooper's Ine. 
Uh, that gets you focused and dialed in, thinking about the ways. Forget about your Tinder dates, homie. Let's get down to business. I took the drink, man. It was sour gummy flavor, homie. And uh, it was fine. It was great. You're going to love best dang sour gummy you ever had. Let's move on with our dang lives. All right, man. You ain't that soft, homie. If, the fla- if you're worried about the two seconds that you got to worry about downing this pre-workout so you can get back to your business to pump some iron and, and build some dang muscle, I would hate to see what your sorry meal prep looks like. Everything in my life has to taste delicious. Shut your freaking mouth, son. Let's get down to it, man. So I took the drink, man. I came down to the dance floor. The first thing that I felt, oh, I just want to say this. A level scoop, two level scoops, was 13 grams. So if you want to get that 17 grams, you need to do two fat heapers to get the the actual serving. So if you don't use the scale like me, you got to do two fat heapers. All right, man. So I came down. The first thing I felt was strong beta alanine, the kind that's got your head itching, man. I mean, the, the beta in here was real, man. It didn't last a long time for me, but it came in strong, homie. It came in with a nice sense of urgency, contributed to my iron pumping state of mind. It's almost as much as I want to say about this, homie. So I, I'm going to be straight with you, man. You know, I'm always going to give it to you straight, man. I, I ain't here shining no dang schlong, man. I don't know mild blocks, and they don't know GGH, dog. I don't think I could really tell you. It's been a while since I took the first loco. I don't really think I could tell you that there was much of a difference or what the difference was between this and the last one. Um, I want to say it was a positive experience. So um, the energy comes in. There's, it's a very smooth energy. This is, um, I would say it's just above like a regular use pre-workout, pre-workout or daily driver kind of energy. Just above. It's not a, by any means, this did not feel like a stim junkie experience. It felt like a very, very hot, like the maximum you would want to feel for a regular use pre-workout. So there was a very positive, feel good, not illicit, nothing illicit, nothing crazy about this pre-workout in any department. I mean, this is not, it's not the most eventful pre-workout. So this is, I'm gonna tell you what it's good for. So the energy comes in, man, I'd say 20 minutes, you're like, yes, I'm, I feel alert, I feel awake. The star of the show with this, man, was uh, the feel good, clean energy. Um, you definitely feel like that theobromine in the head that kind of just, uh, just like a sense of an underlying sense of well-being that's there, man. Um, I mean, it's not, as I said, there's no tunnel vision focus. There's, there's some added focus. There's no crazy mood. There's some added sense of well-being. There's no crazy energy. It's nice, clean, feel-good energy. So it kind of... It has a little from, it has some from each department to make it come together nicely to give you a nice training experience. It feels good to train on. This is not a drug addict's pre, not a drug addict experience. I mean, you will not get to walk away being like, man, that was nuts. It's just more of a, this gets the job done. This puts me in a nice iron pumper state of mind. The beta came and went but the energy stayed. It didn't feel cheap. It felt clean. This would be a nice pre-workout for a stim junkie who wants to take a little bit of time off crazy stims, but wants something that holds them uh, while they're not using their crazy stims. That'll put you in a nice training session, man. So I think that a beginner would take this and be just fine. I mean, Surprisingly, man, even though I said there's smooth, clean energy, my heart rate was up the whole time, man. I'm talking like 150. Like the endurance on it is solid, man. And I don't know what that's from. I mean, it's not like I felt particularly strong on it, but I didn't feel like I needed to wait in between sets. I mean, it definitely slaps the tired out of you and gets you in that training mode. So just if you're like a drug addict and you're looking to get high, this is not the pre-workout for you. This is a pre-workout for someone who's going, who wants something to give good endurance, 
for a real nice iron pumping session who wants no negative side effects. So you're gonna walk away from this feeling good, good mood. Um, as I said, not illicit good mood, just, just, a, just a good mood. Like if you underslept, it'll put that alertness, like good awake feeling in you to where you're like back dialed in, man. So there's a nice dialed in, driven feeling with it, but it's not crazy in any department. It's just a nice high-end regular use pre-workout. The pumps were kind of uneventful on it, man. I wouldn't throw like a whole pump formula on it because you're already taking down 17 grams. But if you got some nice pump pills laying around or something, I, I don't think, I don't really think you're gonna notice pumps on it, man, like outside your normal pumpage, man. So don't expect much out of the pumps. This is just more of a energy, endurance, power output. It's like an energy package, man, with some beta alanine. So it is a nice, I mean, they did a nice job. I don't think it's a huge upgrade from their last one, but their last one was like decent like this. Like it was a nice high end regular use pre-workout that didn't feel like a cheap experience. So I've said it all, homie, giving you the straight review, positive experience overall, nothing crazy, nothing insane. Uh, a nice pre-workout to hold you through a, a good iron pumping session where you'll walk away feeling good for the day with zero negative side effects. So that's, that's why it's nice, man, because DMHA, all that, yeah, it feels good while you're training and for a little bit after. But then for me, I'm just like, man, I'm ready for it to wear off and be back to normal. I don't want to feel cracked out all dang day and just like not myself. So this, this won't do anything negative, man. You'll feel good. And that'll be that. God bless all of you. It's a calorie burner. You're going to be burning calories because of the endurance. That's what I got. Garage Gym homies always going to give it to you straight. Let me know what you thought of the review, man. Was I precise with this? Were my instructions, not instructions, was my review clear cut? Did you walk away from this review being like, the guy gave a good description. I know exactly what he means. Like, or was it choppy, homie? I'm trying to get better, man. Let me know what you thought of it. God bless you. Together, let's get this dang muscle. Leave a comment, man, and smash the dang like button. I'm out.